Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today's pedicure will be on one of my younger clients who is 17 years old. My client told me that she has experienced a lot of discomfort lately while walking. And this is an easy fix. All you need to do is trim back the part of the toenail that is causing that pressure. After carefully cutting that part of her toenail with my scissors, I am taking my curette and carefully removing the dry clogged up skin from the sidewalls. Dried clogged up skin in the sidewalls is also a cause for a lot of discomfort or pressure. Now we can see that the nail is pressed up and away from the skin, releasing all of that pressure. A common mistake when trimming toenails is cutting the corners far too deep. This kind of harsh cut as seen in this picture is the wrong way to cut toenails, or sometimes they could be rounded. In any case, if we imagine that the toenails were cut at these sharp angles, you can see that the sidewalls are left completely exposed. Therefore, with the proper tools, we are cutting the toenails flat and not creating any sharp angles, such as we could do on fingernails. As for these toenails, I won't be coating them in anything, but placing a small cloth dipped in propolis for inflammation and sending my client home with it. A few days later, her mom messaged me and told me how happy she was that the inflammation had already completely gone down and her daughter's toes didn't feel any more pressure or discomfort while walking. These kind of messages from my clients make me so happy. I could stop here today, but I've decided to add yet another small clip from a different client in order to show you all some of my new equipment. This is a pedicure drill disc by Smart that I've never used before. I love equipment that's easy to use, that doesn't require a lot of instructions, and these discs are definitely one of them. When using these kind of discs, the RPMs shouldn't be too high, otherwise they will kind of stick to the skin, and you shouldn't use the entire flatness of the disc, but rather the edge. For this, you will need to hold the disc kind of at an angle, but not too much so that the edge of the file won't cut the skin. Using these methods, I'm working with harsh abrasion and working on those calloused areas. Further, I'm changing the abrasion to 180 grit and brushing through the entire area so that there won't be any rough skin hanging off. This also will leave everything nice and smooth. As I worked further with the new disc, my hand was getting pretty tired, which doesn't usually happen when working with caps. I also noticed that I spent a lot more time working with the disc than I typically do when working with caps. What about you guys? Have you noticed any difference when working with discs or caps? We have completed the heels, and now for her toes. 
As for the small calluses on her pinky toes, I'm just lightly taking care of those with my nail drill, but in general, they will just have to heal on their own. Now for our coating. After having applied the base coat, I'm taking this beautiful purple and applying it in one layer. Here they are, all fresh, smooth, and looking great. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.